fine. What is the use of front controller? Uh, sorry, uh, can you please repeat? Uh, which controller? Front controller. Front controller. Uh, uh, not sure about that. What's the difference between setter and constructor injection? Setter in okay, uh, so uh, in the setter injection, uh, uh, we we, uh, we provide the uh, so uh, dependency injection has two ways we can do the dependency injection. One is setter and uh, one is uh, constructor. And uh, in the constructor, uh, uh, we we just normally uh, give uh, uh, like let's say if we have ID and uh, uh, and uh, some name, we can give it. In the parameters of uh, of while calling that uh, thing from the pom dot xml and uh, for the setters, we uh, we uh, provide it in the variable part uh, for, for the setter injection. Fine. Uh, coming to Spring Boot, what is actuator in the Spring Boot? So actuator is basically used. For monitoring of for our APIs, so we use at actuator, and uh, we, we we give the dependency in the pom dot xml, and uh, then uh, define it in the uh, application dot properties, and uh, we can use the at actuator annotation so that our uh, health check would be monitored for the API. So any URL you know that is used to monitor the health. Uh, no, actually we are not using the actuator, but uh, we are using uh, Splunk tools to monitor uh, the APIs. Uh. Okay. What is the use of dev tools? So dev tools, uh, if let's say if uh, we uh, our our server is already running, and uh, I am making any change uh, in my code. And I want my uh, already running server to pick up those changes, so I'll use the dev tools uh, to accommodate those changes. So I don't need to, you know, uh, restart my server again. Application. Okay. Have you also used Hibernate? I'm not using Hibernate, but I'm uh, working with the JPA repositories. Okay. So for a new project, how we configure the JPA? What's so. Uh, yeah, for for uh, that I first of all I I use uh, uh, that H two dependency. I mean uh, in the pom dot xml and then uh, in the application node properties I define the uh, data source URL uh, and uh, its its uh, uh, properties uh, like uh, username password and spot name i define it in the application of properties and then uh, in the uh, in the code i'll use um, uh, i'll create one repository class which will extend the rep, uh, jp repository and uh, it it will be mapped with the entity class for uh, an entity class will have a table name specified with it with at table annotation so that we can map our uh, repository class with that uh, table uh, so uh, and then in that repository class i'll use uh, i mean uh, for, if if we normally use uh, if we normally want to just insert uh, the whole values in the table we'll we'll use the inbuilt functions like uh, dot, uh, dot save all function or, or dot save function if if we want to uh, select something uh, on the basis of some key, key parameters or or um, uh, or we just want to select some basic uh, you know uh, uh, some few parameters from uh, or columns from that uh, table. We just uh, write the query uh, in the that repository class. Uh, otherwise, we have inbuilt parameters like uh, sorry functions like find by ID, find by uh, find by name, and uh, uh, through which uh, we can find or select the uh, uh, columns from that uh, table. Okay, now we have to go for one coding test. Yes, sure. So, suppose uh, the, there is a string s equals to Java. Uh, okay. okay. Now you have to print each character count. Uh, string, uh, just, uh, uh, shall I share my screen? Just a moment. 
it is visible right yeah. equals to java yes so you have to print like each character count j is 1 a okay. is 2 v okay 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 sure sure 